see. Like, come on. If you are new here, welcome. If you are not new here, welcome back. It is really nice to see you again. My name is Kim. I realized I don't introduce myself in any of my videos, so uh, nice to meet you. I'm Kim. Despite being a very depressed and uh, mentally ill individual, I call myself the happy Kim because I'm trying to figure out happiness and I thought I would take you along with me while I do it. So today is Saturday. I don't know exactly what, what day today is. September? 17th? Pretty sure it's the 17th of September, 2022. I am in my car, as you can see, because we are about to head out and run a couple of errands. I'm gonna run a Sally's to pick up supplies to touch up on my hair, as we're gonna do that this weekend. I might take a run into the mall as well to check out Winners and Bath and Body Works. I really, really, really wanna look at their fall collection and get some fall scents for my apartment, because I am, of course, a fall-loving hoe. I mean, who like, who isn't? Don't lie to yourself, it's, it's a beautiful time. I've been working really hard to get out of a rut. I just uploaded a few videos in a series that I'm doing of getting my life together. Who knows how long that's gonna go on because my life is in shambles, fully, fully in shambles. But if you haven't seen those videos, go check them out. They are, I hope, motivational to also get your life together if it's in shambles like mine. <laughs> but anyways, we're running a few errands. I thought I'd take you along with me because it's been a minute since I just formally vlogged, so. Welcome, Welcome to the vlog! First things first, we're gonna get some Starbucks because why not start a fall day with a nice pumpkin cold brew, am I right? Or am I right? So, two Starbucks, we go. Oh, also, this is a new car! I have a new car. It's not new, it's used, but it is new to me. It's actually just a newer model of my old car, which was a Toyota Corolla. Roll gang for life. cold brew, three pumps of sugar-free vanilla, two Splenda, and can I get pumpkin cold foam on top? You can drive on through. Thank you. I do not go crazy in here. I love me some Sally's and I always convince myself that I need little things in there, but I don't. The only things I'm getting in here, brown hair dye, developer, probably lashes because they have the best lashes and they usually have some kind of deal on. So that's all I'm getting though. That's all I'm getting. I already have a deep conditioning mask. I don't need to get that. I do need gloves, but I'm not getting them here because they'll be like $8 million in comparison to like Walmart or something. So yeah, but. That's it. All right, well, let's go. Walmart. <laughs> I used to love Walmart. Mind you, if Walmart is not busy, I like it, but 
oh, that was so not enjoyable. But if I had left that, I would have forgotten. And then tomorrow when I go to do my hair, I wouldn't have had gloves. And then I would have had to go out then and it would have been a whole thing. So don't put off tomorrow what you can do today. One of my dad's favorite saying. It's not one that he instilled in me very well, <laughs> but. Uh. So um, everything was more expensive than I was anticipating because that's always the case. I seem to misremember how much things cost. So I think Bath and Body Works is out of the budget now. That's kind of why I went to Sally's first. Like I was literally at the mall picking up Starbucks and I was like, no, I'm gonna go to Sally's first because I need to update my hair more than I need my house to smell like fall. Oh, the broke girl life. <laughs> it is not the most enjoyable, but we're, we're making it through. I can't get over how good this, this is. Oh my God, like I'm, mm. So we're not gonna go to the mall. I do have a gift card for winners, but with the state that Walmart was just in, I don't even wanna know what the mall is looking like right now. And my anxiety is rising at the morning rate. So we are not gonna go fuck with the mall today. However, I do have some things, some items to donate. So we're going to go to Volu Village. Value Village if you're not fancy. Maybe take a quick little peek around. I mainly want to look at their picture frames and pictures because I'm still working on making a picture wall. Maybe they'll have some little fall Halloween type decor things too, but that'll be much more uh, budget friendly. So to the thrift store we go. something to help my eyesight right now fuck around get tongue tied yeah man it is busy here today there's not even a parking spot that's the goddamn worst it's the goddamn worst it's not though at the same time like the thrift store being busy is a good thing it means more people are you know contributing to oh fuck i can't multitask give me a moment ah stress all right Whew. it's great that there's more people partaking in sustainable fashion but at the same time, those people are taking things that I want. <laughs> I'm a selfish person sometimes, and that thought I know is selfish, but it's, it's my thought process. I'm like, ugh, there's a bunch of people here, ugh. I'm getting the good stuff. And I also just don't like crowded spaces. I get very anxious with people. Anyways, in case you didn't know, when you donate to Value Village, you get 20% off your purchase, so that's a positive. And it's helping Diabetes Canada, apparently, though. I don't think that Value Village is the most uh, generous of all the nonprofits. I'm pretty sure it's actually not even a nonprofit. I think I read that recently. Yeah. <laughs> Shopping at Value Village does not support any nonprofit. Value Village is a for profit company, so. There is the matter of that as well. So we're gonna have a quick peek in here. I say quick, but who knows how long I'll be here. Um, I'm gonna take you in with me. It's been a minute since we've come here together. I have a good few sips of this to uh, get. <gasps> Oh my god, all right. Yep, we gotta go see the rainbow.
quick haul of the things I got. It won't be a try on because I have plans with Kristen very shortly and I'd like to get the dogs out for a quick walk before we hang out. So I'm just gonna show you the things that I got. First off, I got this coat. I thought it was so cute. Has like the, like the Sherpa type thing inside. Buttons up, it tapers in like at the waist sort of thing, but it's baggier otherwise. I thought that was so cute and it was only $11.99 so $12. I got this it's kind of like a sweater but I think I might wear it as a shirt so it's like ribbed as you can see and it zips all the way up and it's kind of tight but like has a little bit of room to it it's like a brown color you can't really tell at all with this camera and this lighting but it's like a nice brown so it's perfect for fall I guess I'll show you the coat on too because like like come on I'm gonna take you down a little tiny bit Come on, that is so cute. Now, I've got three pairs of pants. I have no idea if any of them are gonna fit me. Pants are a struggle for my body shape. I have very big, wide hips and like big thighs, big butt. And my my waist isn't like tiny, tiny, but like it's not like... It's smaller than my lower half. Like right now, these jeans, I have the TikTok hack tie because the waist is just way too big. Either things are way too tight on my thighs for what I want, or they're gaping on my waist. It sucks. But regardless, I really want a pair of like trousers. So I'm gonna try these. These are men's actually. I just, I don't even bother with the women's section for pants anymore because there's often just not a lot. But the men's stuff, there is. And men's jeans for one are just like superior. I swear to God. So they're just a pair of black trousers. I will let you know if they fit me or not. Oh, I only got two pairs of pants. I lied to you. I'm sorry. I got a pair of corduroys as well. Just black corduroys. Yeah, I'll let you know if these fit me as well. I want the trousers to be baggy. I'm hoping these are more like form fitting, but they flare out a bit at the bottom. So kind of like a 70s style. That's my hope is. All right, I got two more items. This I actually got for free because there wasn't a tag on it and the person just put it in my bag. So I was like, God bless you. It's a little cauldron candle holder. Tell me that's not the cutest thing ever. And then I got these, which I thought they were just too cool to pass up. Well, I probably should have told you the prices of everything. So these were $5. The cords were $10, $9.99. Cauldron was free. <laughs> the trousers are were $6.99, which I thought that was like a really good price for a good quality pair of trousers. And $5.99 for the little sweater thing. So all together, I spent like $30. I, do, I did use the 20% coupon. Not bad, not bad at all. Hey, I will try those on later. For now, I'm going to take the dogs out for a walk. Let's go. trust them to not like eat the hair dye, especially Sailor because she's insane. <sighs> okay, one side done, one side done. I am starting to get low on dye. I'm getting really low on dye. I'm starting to freak out a little bit that I'm not gonna have enough. I'm so sorry that you can't actually see what I'm doing right now. I know that's annoying. sit for like 40 minutes or so and we'll be back to do the blonde. We are back. It's been 20 minutes. It's lightening up quite well. All right, we're going to mix some more bleach with 
20 volume. I don't actually have 20 volume, um, but I do have 30 and I have 10. So if you don't know, you can do that and it'll make 20. <laughs> this is more of the bleach with the 30 volume that I'm just going to top up. And then the rest we are going to go in with this, which is lighter. I am gonna have a bit of breakage here, I know I am, but it's okay, I suppose. <laughs> I'm gonna try to avoid just the very ends down there because they don't need bleach. I'm trying to just like separate the strands as much as I can and get some bleach in there. I'm also trying to do this really quickly because I don't want a uh, more intense bleach to be on my hair for like a crazy amount of time. It's pretty saturated. All right, now onto this side. You know, worst case scenario, like if some of the bleach gets over onto the brown, like I can just go get some more brown dye. It's not the end of the world. I just like to avoid it. Okay, another 20 minutes. Then we wash out the bleach and tone. All right, this is what we are working with. As you can see, there's still a lot of brassiness right here. I'm not bleaching it again. I'm just not. I'm just not fucking with that. I'm aware that that's still gonna be yellow because that is not bright enough for T18 and that's what I'm using, so. It's fine, everything is fine. So we're gonna plop this on my head quick as we can, wait 30 minutes, and then my hair will be done. I'm trying to put it, like focus it on the areas that are the darkest. I mean, it's not lifting anymore, so it doesn't really matter, I guess, but it's where it would need the most toning sort of thing. Everything feels good and saturated. She's already starting to develop, as you can see. 30 minutes. With this on my head. And we'll wash it all out, and my hair will be done. And hopefully it will still be attached to my head, and it won't look too bad. I'm gonna fully, like, get ready and all that kind of stuff, too, just because I like to do that after I make a change with my hair. So, um, I will see you after my shower. All right, here is what we are working with. It's actually been like a week since I touched up the roots and whatnot. Um, I've only washed it one time since, so this is basically what the color looked like. But as you can see, my roots have grown out just a little tiny bit there. There's also this little guy. <laughs> when I like pull my root back, there's that little bit of bleach that bled over, but it's fine. I will deal with her when we do my roots next. That does bring us to the end of the vlog. I just want to say thank you so much for coming along. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you clicking on this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, that button is just down below. It should be white, not red. If it's red, that means you haven't subscribed yet and you should really do that. You're missing out on lots if you haven't. Who knows what I'll do with my hair next? You will if, if you subscribe. <laughs> if you did like this video, you can also give it a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel and yeah, just yeah, just thank you. I think that's all for me though, but I do hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.